Hey guys, so today I am going to do a get ready with me, um, and I'm just going to do a no makeup, well, an everyday makeup look that um, I would wear like just to go to work or go out with your friends, but you don't want to do anything crazy. So that's what I'm going to do, I like a chill makeup look. Uh, my sister and my cousin are watching me right now over there. So if you see me looking over there or laughing or something, it's cool. It's not you, it's me. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I did do my eyebrows off camera. So like I said in my last video, if you want to see a, um eyebrow tutorial or anything like that, just let me know in the comments below and I will do that for you. So I want to start off with this Master Camo by um, Maybelline. I actually just started using Color Corrector recently. Um, I never used to use it, but it makes a huge difference. You don't have to use Color Corrector. I've been living without it for a while now, so if you feel like you don't need it, more power to you. So um, I did wet my um, beauty blender so it is damp. Never, ever, 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 ever use a dry beauty blender because that's just crazy. I started this new beauty club um, at my school. I am in college. I'm a junior. And one of the girls, we were teaching like how to use brushes, different brushes. And she was like, I don't know like why my makeup never looks like yours, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, what is your like routine? So she's like, yeah, I use a beauty blender. I don't really get into detail with the brushes so then I'm like okay like your is your beauty blender wet and she's like oh my gosh you have to wet it oh my gosh you have to wet it and I'm just like what are you crazy and after that the next meeting she came back and she's like wow you changed my life like my makeup looks so much better just because I wet my beauty blender. So, wet your beauty blender, lady. I'm always battling between these two. It's the NYX um, Total Control. And then it's the Makeup Forever HD Foundation Stick. Um, I love them both for different reasons. I love the stick because I feel like it gives me a dewy finish. And, like, it just, I don't know, it never really, like looks bad it looks really really flawless I like to use the stick on days where I feel like I'm really like dry because when I'm really dry I like a thicker like more moisturizing foundation if that makes sense and then the next one I'll use it when like I feel like okay like like normal skin because I have normal to dry and it's really really watery but I like it because I feel like it makes my all my makeup blend together really really well but they both look flawless so that's what I do today I'm feeling like I want to do the stick but as you can see it doesn't really match my skin that well like, it matches, but, like, it's a little bit darker. Then I'm going to get my beauty blender, and I'm just going to blend that in. Yeah, so I just got these new lights. That's why my lighting is way better in my video now. Because I know I was struggling before. Now my video is about to be lit. But, okay, guys, see, it's just very, um, such a flawless foundation. But as you can see, I feel like I did get a little bit darker. But that's okay. It's way better in the summer for me, at least. Because um, it matches me when I get tan. That's my first time dr drinking green tea. And I really like it. I'm really a picky person, but that tea is really good. I've been using the Shape Tape Concealer lately. Um, I really like it. It's kind of a light, so I kind of mix them sometimes, and that gives me my perfect color. I was actually really nervous to start talking in my videos, like, not voiceover, because, I don't know, it just seems kind of scary, like, but, um, you gotta start somewhere. So, today, um, it's, like, really early, well, not really early, it's, like, 11 o'clock, and I'm doing my makeup because, 
Um, I'm going to take this trip to D.C. with my mom and my sister. We are just going to visit some family. My aunt is going um, away to Ethiopia. That's where my family is from. So we're going to go see her off or whatever. So I used the NARS concealer in the color Amande. Um, this is just a darker one. It kind of matches my complexion. So when I mix it in with the shade tape, it like gives me the perfect, perfect color that I want. I didn't even do it down my nose today, but sometimes I do, I've been neglecting my nose because my nose is like one of my biggest like insecurities just because like it's not completely straight like I want it and I haven't mastered contouring it yet because it's really one of the hardest noses to contour because it has like a, a little bump so you know I try to like not draw attention to it so and I feel like highlighting it draws attention to it so that kind of you probably think I'm backwards but look, so I'll tell you guys a little bit more about me. Um, I'm majoring in IT, which is information technology. Yeah, I'm a computer geek or whatever. It's like, no. But that's where the money's at, guys. Like, technology is always going to be relevant. So, like, and if you're a girl in technology, you got it. Say less. If you're trying to figure out what you should do in college, I mean, definitely like what you're doing, but like, if you want to make money, IT is where it's at, or computer science, mostly STEM majors, I feel like. You guys are making me nervous. <laughs> What's the fastest you've ever done your makeup? 15 minutes. 15? Wow. There was like one time I was, well, yeah, like there was one time I was literally bullshitting and like my friends were coming to pick me up because we were going out and like I literally, like they were like, we're on our way and I literally was like in my towel. Like, and I was just like, oh my God. So I just put some clothes on and like just started doing my makeup. Like it was, it was whatever. It was whatever that day. I mean, it was like no eyeshadow. No, it was just like whatever. Put my foundation on my eyebrows, mascara, eyeliner. Get out. Wow, that's a record. How about you? You're. <laughs> she takes like twenty days. I'm gonna go in with the ABH cream contour palette. But um, I think the fastest I ever did my makeup was thirty minutes. You're just dead. Yeah, like, because I feel like Even for an everyday, one day like, I did my makeup really, really fast. Like, I don't know where we were going or what we were doing. I didn't do eyeshadow or anything like that, though. With eyeshadow, that's a different story. So I'm just going to take this color, and I think I'm going to mix it with this and this. So my favorite YouTubers have to be... Uh, so hard. I hate, I don't know. My favorite YouTubers are definitely, well, I love Aaliyah J. Okay, like that's like my, like I just, just love her. I feel like she's my spirit animal. Um, she just does things that I but would do. Like it's just funny. I don't know. She's cool as shit. I like her a lot. Of course, I love um, Patrick Star. That's my man's 100 grams. Who else do I like? I like, um, hmm. I love Jeffree oh, Star so because I just feel like he's so bougie and cute and I just, he doesn't care about what anybody has to say about him and that's just goals. Like, it, and I know he gets so much hate, like so much hate and like he just does not let it phase him. Like he just gets money, like he's just like, I don't care. And that's just popping. I have so many more I watch. Um, I just started watching Tiara Walker. She's so cute. And I just, like, my la my first video, we had the same exact title. And I didn't even notice. She has a, yellow, a flawless yellow cut crease video, too. And I was like, okay, girl. Like, great minds think alike. 
But I definitely missed some of my favorite YouTubers. I know I didn't say so. So now I'm gonna set my face with the OG Laura Mercier. I just take a little bit. Like I don't even take that much because I feel like that makes you look like ashy. I know this seems really long to you guys and like a lot of work, but you don't necessarily have to do the cream contour part. I'm just extra. You can honestly do powder contour. You don't even have to contour for your everyday look. This is just my version of what I would do for an everyday look. I just do foundation, concealer, contour. I don't usually do lashes. I don't know if I'm going to do that today. I'm probably not. But if I were to... It would be natural lashes, like the Ardell Demi Wispies or something like that. Um, so, yeah. Don't, you don't have to fully follow what I'm doing. Like, you can make it your own and tell me in the comments what you like to do. Maybe it'll make it faster for me. I know time is something I struggle with, especially in school. And I'm on winter break right now, but I go back in like two days. I'm so, so sad because I'm not ready. Like this month went by so quick, I feel like. But that's okay because I'm almost done. Can't wait to be done. Oh my God. I don't understand. Especially like having foreign parents and having like I know y'all understand that like if you're foreign and your parents are like crazy with grades and all of that stuff it just it just makes the college experience so much harder like but whatever they just look the best for us then I'm gonna go in with the powder contour kit by ABH and since this is a natural look I'm not gonna do like a crazy harsh contour, but I'm just going to go over that contour that I did. Let's see. I just want to bronze my face. I don't really want to like go overboard. Because if I were, I would have used the medium to deep kit instead of the tan to deep. So, I just got this camera, by the way. It's the Canon G7X, and I heard a lot of things about it. So, I decided to get that strictly for YouTube videos. So, next, I'm just going to take some of my favorite go-to brush. I've had this since junior year of high school. Um, because I was going on prom with some senior boy or whatever, and I did not I did not know anything about makeup at this time, and I had gotten my makeup done by Bobby Brown. I was just like an eyeliner, mascara type of girl, concealer when I'm going out. That's what I would do. I would put concealer on under my eyes, and it didn't even really match my skin, and I would just walk out the house like that. With some eyeliner and some mascara. Like, that's crazy. So, and nobody told me that I looked crazy. And I know I looked crazy. But I'm just going to go in with this OG blush. Um, it is Bobbi Brown. Um, it is in the color Clementine. It's just a nice, naturally pinky color. I really like it. So... That's to be done. Okay, so now I'm gonna highlight my favorite part with the Master Chrome by Maybelline. Guys, I I use a lot of drugstore things, like, and it's not even because like just because it's cheap, but they're actually good products. Like, like look at this. Look at that. Like I know y'all see that. Like look. That's like crazy. This is better than some, um, like, high-end brands. Like, that's that's a glow. Well, I'm going to tell you how I started getting up to make. I started off not even really caring about that. I was more into, like, clothes and, like, stuff like that because I really like fashion. Eventually, I just started building things little by little. Like, I used to wear a BB cream. I thought I was the... I thought I was the one, okay? I used to wear... 
this um, BB cream by, I think it was by Maybelline, and I used to praise this uh, BB cream. I would not leave to go to school without it on. Like, I thought it made me look so cute. It was crazy. Then I started going to foundation. Then I started doing my eyebrows. Then I started, but I mainly started with concealer. Right after I was using my BB cream, I went right to concealer. And I don't remember what concealer I was using, but I was just using concealer. I don't know what I was doing, to be honest. And I started doing eyeshadow, and then I just started doing the whole nine. It just all, like, kind of crept up on me. Then I realized, like, everyone keeps asking me what I do to my face. Everybody keeps asking me, like, how to do it. So I'm like... Like, maybe I should start doing this. Like, it's a talent. So then I started doing people's makeup. Like, I still freelance now, like, here and there. And um, it's just something I really love to do. I love making other people feel good about themselves, like, enhancing their beauty and all that stuff. Started. That was my journey, well, up to now. And then, like, a lot of people were like, you should do YouTube. And I've always wanted to do YouTube. Like, that's something I really love doing. Even when I wasn't really, like, into makeup, um, I was still on YouTube. Like, I was watching YouTube tutorials all the time. Like, just looking at these girls, like, get pretty in front of camera, in front of the camera and stuff. Like, I thought that was so cool. I'm not gonna do lashes today just because I'm gonna try to keep it as simple as possible so I'm in my basement right now recording I know you guys are probably like where is she at like I know I have to get backdrops but like cut me some slack I am new to this I'm actually gonna go try to buy order some online um I have like the stand that holds it up so I have all the stuff. I just need to go and buy the backdrops. But I kind of don't want to order them online because I want to see them in person just so I know the colors I'm getting are, like, what I want. Don't make fun of my nails. Like, they're not done right now. I know. I'm ratchet. But I haven't had time. I've been recording, 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 editing, editing, editing. I don't have no time. And I'm about to put y'all on to something, okay? My go-to lip gloss for those natural days and you still want to look cute, still trying to turn some heads, it is the Buxom um, Lip Plumper, I think. It does plump your lips. It has like a kind of a tingly feeling when you first put it on. It's nothing. It doesn't hurt or anything. It's in the color Hot Tie. And it's like a perfect nude pink and it just looks so good, like, with everything, like, any look. Um, even without makeup, I wear it. Like, it's awesome. Um, for those of you who don't really like gloss, because I don't really like, I love gloss, like, the way it looks, but I know it gets annoying when it sticks to your hair and all that stuff. If you don't like that kind of stuff, you can definitely use, um, any type of nude lip or whatever, it'll still look really natural, like a lipstick or a matte lip. I just feel like glosses, when you're doing a natural look, looks the most, you know, natural. See? Like, that's so cute. So, I already did my hair, by the way, just in the ponytail. But yeah, guys, so basically this is it for my natural go-to chill look when you just want to put a little makeup on. I know it probably sounds like a lot, but yeah. Oh, wait, let's set our face. I just got this, and um, I've heard a lot about it. I'm pretty sure it's not your first time hearing about it. And I love it, okay? Especially for me because I have dry skin, like normal to dry. Um, it just gives me, like, I feel like it melts all my makeup together. Like, it makes it just look like one, like, all blended up. Goodness, okay? So I just wear it. I don't overboard with the sun inside. Then you can just feel yourself off. Oh, I need to stop talking. 
um that is it for my makeup tutorial today i hope you guys enjoyed it um please like and subscribe share this video tell everybody about it and if you feel like i do like something wrong in my makeup routine or you think i can make it faster or better whatever let me know i want to hear everybody's um opinions like i'm open to all of that thank you for watching and i'll see you next time